کنگره ایالات متحده آمریکا گرد همایی نوروزی با حضور نمایندگان ارشد از هر دو حزب سخنرانی های نمایندگان کنگره در حمایت از مقاومت ایران و مجاهدان اشرفی محکومیت نقض حقوق بشر در ایران و صدور تروریست و بنیادگرایی توسط رژیم آخوندی ادرویس رئیس کمیته امور خارجی کنگره ما یک مسئولیت ویژه از طرف ایالات متحده بر عهده گرفتیم که اشرفی ها را در قبال حملاتی که از رژیم ایران نشأت گرفته حفاظت کنیم مسئولیت ما امروز این است که نه تنها امنیت و حفاظت آنها را برآورده می کنیم بلکه در مورد کسانی که در حملات قبلی به اشرفی ها با معموران رژیم ایران همکاری کرده اند تحقیق کنیم Happy Nowruz. The Persian, the Persian people have a special place in their heart, not only for this celebration of spring and rebirth, but also for the human rights that Thomas Jefferson reminded us of what? That it was Cyrus the Great in 539 BC who produced that first document, that first manifesto in terms of the rights of human beings, the rights of every person to their freedom, to their religion, to following their own conscience, all ethnicities. This is the historic legacy of Persia. This is why Thomas Jefferson told his son to read the works of Cyrus the Great, and to study that culture and study that history. This is the reason today that you're here to say Nowruz must be celebrated in Iran and all over the world. Now, I, I am the co-chairman of the Nowruz Commission. And the reason we formed that commission was to celebrate this aspect of Persian culture. And the request we make today to the international community is in this day and age, let's keep with that promise of the rights to every individual in terms of freedom of religion, in terms of following their own conscience, in terms of their freedom to speak, in terms of their basic human dignity. And where is that dignity withheld today? Unfortunately, among other parts on this sorry globe. It is withheld in the very, in, in, in Iran itself with respect to the theocratic regime. It does not respect the culture or the history of the Persian people. It does not respect the rights of Iranians. And it is to such an extent that they send their own agents who have now killed 130 members of the MEK, who have now wounded 1,300, we took on a special responsibility on the part of the United States when we said that we would protect the people from the attacks that were emanating out of Iran. And our responsibility today is to see that we address not just their safety and security, but also we have an investigation with respect to those who caused those attacks those who collaborated with the agents of the Iranian regime in order to kill those MEK members. And all of us that know the difference between freedom and tyranny have a special appreciation for those who struggle in that long twilight battle, in that long effort to ensure that the next generation of young Iranians have the rights that were promised to them by Cyrus the Great and the rights that all human beings aspire to. 
and the rights that Thomas Jefferson himself referenced when he quoted Cyrus the Great. Thank you very much. <laughs>